there's this dude and he owns uh, four or five boys and he prostitutes these boys. And he said, but here's the deal. He likes to go down to the bar and he likes to drink down at the bar. And here's what I think we can do. I think we can go down and somebody can sit at him with the bar, befriend him and get this guy drunk. And the rest of us can go to his house, literally open up these cages and get these kids out. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we all say, okay, 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 man, let's do this. So it all goes according to plan, and it's awesome. The guy goes down to the bar. We find a night, which took like two weeks, man, for us to find a night where all of those kids were at home. And that's a whole nother thing, because if one of them is farmed out, and if you bust the house and save those kids and you don't save that other one, he will, they'll kill him, or he will disappear, or something terrible is going to happen. So we're, <laughs> it happens, happens exactly the way it's supposed to. My friend goes into this into this house brazenly and he goes in to find these cages and he busts open the door and he's like, cause we gotta hurry because we don't know when, it, when the guy's gonna come back, super scary. And if you get busted in this country in Southeast Asia, you will go to prison and it's, cause you're kicking in a door to somebody's house. Wow, wow. Okay, wow. and so it's just a bad deal. And, and he goes in and this woman's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. She's like, where is he? Where's the kid at? Where's this one kid at? Because he knew where this one kid was, the other boys were. And she's like, okay, okay, he's in here, he's in here. And they go in there, and there's this kid who's maybe six, seven years old. His legs do not work. They have never worked. He's in like a, a baby crib, even though he's six or seven. And this old lady is taking care of this kid, and they busted down the wrong door. And they're like, who, who is this? What's going on? And she goes like, I don't know. And he goes, look, I'm looking for so-and-so. And she goes, oh, no, that's next door. I know that kid. And there's a bunch of bad things going on. He goes, I know, I know. And he says, well, who's this kid? And she goes, this was a kid that I found in the gutter. I'm not the parent to this kid, but I love this kid. And this kid cannot walk because when they threw it in the gutter, it broke his back. And so like his back is now broke. And okay. So he's like, all right, well, um, let me just pray for this kid. So he just prays for this kid. Lord God, you sent me in this house for a reason. I pray father God, sir, that you do something miraculous with this child. Thank you, Lord, for it. I bless this mama. And he says, don't tell anybody you saw me. They go next door, kick in the door. They save all of the boys they want to. They leave and they get home and they're like, man, it's a big win. And he just gets to thinking about it that night. And he's like, dude, I don't know why I just didn't pick up that kid and take him with us. Wow. Because she said several times, no, it's not my child, but I have to take care of him because nobody will. And, and I, you know, she said, all he does is lay in bed and watch the other kids play in the street. And his, 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 his bed was right by the window where he could see all the other kids play. And he got thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it, Pastor Darren. And after a few days, he told his team, we got to go back. And you imagine how dangerous it is for them to go back to like the house next door to the house that they busted and go in and go, I'm going to ask that woman, just let me have that kid and let me bring that kid to our home. We can take a whole lot better care of him than that. And he'll have a lot better quality of life. And he just couldn't get him out of his head. So he goes there. It's early on a Saturday morning. Knocks on the door. Old lady comes here. She comes to the door. And he says, hi. He goes, um, you know, I'm the guy. She goes, yeah. She goes, what are you doing here? And he said, I come here to ask you, could I, would you consider let me have this child and let me put this child in the home of all the boys that we rescue? Because there's more than a thousand kids in this home of all these boys we have rescued. And he, he'll grow up playing with other boys and we'll work with him, we'll get him special care. And she said, yes, my God, that would be incredible. And he said, okay, well, let me see him. She goes, oh, he's not here. And like, where is he? He's out playing in the street. Because the day after you prayed for him, he opened up the window and climbed out and went down. And he's been playing with all the other kids. Wow, come on. And God healed that kid. Come on. And they didn't even, they didn't even mean to go come into on. that house. They kicked in the wrong door. That's incredible. And God completely healed that kid. Isn't that cool? Come <laughs> on. That is amazing. I love that story. 